Fire, kitchen, fire, kitchen. Fire, kitchen, fire, kitchen, fire, kitchen. And I kept thinking, what is the short circuit in the middle of the night? Why are you waking me up from a nice night's sleep? But once I turned to the left, because that hallway, you could just see the orange glow coming in. The heat was so bad, I could not get near that window up there. I couldn't even get past the threshold of the door. It was so hot. And I knew then, you have to get out and you have to leave now. Opened the door of the den, and the den was pretty fully engulfed. And I heard my daughter yelling, Mom, Dad. And for a second, I was about ready to dive on the floor to see if I could get her out. Then I heard her say, Mom, Dad, I'm outside with Domino. Get out of the house. I ran out the front door barefoot, which is <laughs> not something you're supposed to do. In earthquake country, you're supposed to keep shoes by your bed. But let me tell you, when there's a real emergency and you really have to leave, you just go. You don't even worry about that stuff. I was upstairs with the captain. You know, the upstairs is all smoke damage, and I said, you know, I said, man, we were really lucky to get all smoke damage. And he said, sir, if you had not gotten out of bed with your alarm, he said, your smoke detector saved your life. He said, that fire would have come into the kitchen, the smoke would have come upstairs, you wouldn't even have awakened. He said, people don't burn to death, they die of smoke inhalation. I will never be without it. Um, the system saved our lives. It went, it functioned perfectly. The smoke detector went off. It was loud enough so it woke us up in time to get out. Um, I would never be without one. I'm elated that we were able to save most of the quilts because many of them are personal. Many of them I made for our bed, for our walls. I left the front door and the screen door open. Mina, one of our cats, actually did walk out while the fire department was there fighting the fire, but she was older and she died of smoke inhalation at the vet the next day. We found Princess Leia right over in the side yard over here. She had staggered out there and collapsed. I mean, I'm told that their lungs are small and they, they can't handle it. That's the part of this that I really regret. I wasn't able to get them out. We are customers for life. Thank you very much, ADT. Yes, thank you, ADT.